Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Mike. Yo. Riley. Hey. Christy. Matt. Cheers. Chelsea. Um, I'm drinking water today because of health reasons. I've cut out beer for a while. Thanks. Uh, last 25 pounds Yay. so far this month. Congratulations. 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 Congrats. Uh, Matt's got some beer, though. I am drinking Drake's Jolly Roger Imperial Coffee, Coffee Stout. 9%. Very good. Um, it's very similar to most Imperial Coffee Stouts. Honestly, you fuck up an Imperial Coffee Stout, I'm not going to buy your beer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff, as always. I haven't had anything bad from Drake's, so, yeah, cheers. Just straight-up Coffee Stout? Imperial coffee stout, nine mm. percent. Imperial just means it's stronger in my yes. book. Like, it's that's like all imperial, it means. It's not okay. royal. Hmm? It's not royal. Imperial royal, kind of same okay. thing. The only difference is divine. I, I like to use the word about. devil Stranger. instead of imperial because <laughs> it's less imperial. Yes. <laughs> yes. If there's else? a crown, it's the same thing, right? I'm drinking yeah. ruination. Nice. I was almost oh, going to nice. buy that. They're discontinuing Ruination. Ruination. Oh, they are? Yes. What? Ruination and Pale Ale. They are discontinuing. They, they're going to discontinue the Pale they're, Ale? Get yeah. out of town. They already got rid of Levitation. Oh, awesome. well, I should have bought that six-pack today because I saw it. I should grab that up and hoard it. <laughs> yep, they're not making it anymore. I was oh, like, that's like my favorite sucks. light beer ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad for the light beer. Dude, light beer, you can't be Levitation. Someone wants a light beer. I think it's funny that we're calling... We're comparing... Levitation to a light beer. It's like I think yeah. that's awesome. It's their, it's their light beer. <laughs> it's their light In my beer. book, anyway. I don't know. Yeah, but they are they are replacing them with uh, Pale Ale 2.0 and Ruination 2.0. So oh, they're wow. not, oh, oh okay. so they're not really getting rid they're, of them. They're gonna they're, they're gonna be changing it. Yeah. So definitely. they so they got the four. They're just changing up this. They're just changing up. They could fuck it up. You, I will say they could fuck it up, right? Like, they got potential. They could got the four chorus and called it a Ford Fusion. Got it. All right. Cool. <laughs> this is all I needed to know. All right. I think they. Oh, the other thing that's cool. They uh, they released the homebrew recipe for the pale ale. Oh wow. Oh nice. Right. All right. I yeah, that was cool. Why couldn't they release the homebrew recipe for like? Something good, like yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they actually give you the recipe so you can make it. They did now that they're cool. discontinuing. Yeah, now that they're not making it though, so <laughs> some breweries will do. I, I want to do a wood like stout. Mo- Mother Earth yeah. will sell you a kit to brew their own beers. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know. Cool. and other people's beers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they probably have recipes <laughs> and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. So reminding me, I have to brew beer again. Apparently, I keep forgetting. <laughs> yes. Uh, Got to get on that. What are you drinking tonight? Oh, um. Uh, I knew I was going to forget it. Um, Lion Kugel. I did. Lion Kugel. Lion Kugel is the name of the brewery. The beer is called Black Black Butt Double Lager something. A what? It's called what? Big Butt. (laughs) No, that's what it's called. Big Butt. uh, First you said Black Butt. (laughs) You did. Yeah, I did. Um, Oh, by the way, everybody, this is the first beer I've had in like a month. So, yeah, my liver repaired and now. um, Big Butt. um, (laughs) Double Bach. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, It's it's very good and it's tasty. So from the audience is always appreciated. That's right. (laughs) I'm drinking spit tonight. (laughs) It's, um... You know, it's, it's a little Anybody's salty. Anybody's bit or? My own. Uh, okay. Yeah. I prefer my own. Did you save food. it up and pour it in a glass? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I perpetually make it. It's great. Uh, uh, nice. That's it's a, great. About, it's like about, that. about half of it is yours, half of it is other bacteria. Did you right? ever hear about yeah. that yeah. guy no, who uh, got, intimate. he drank so much homebrew that he has yeast in his uh, gut? <laughs> and when he eats carbohydrates, it converts it to alcohol. <laughs> so he just gets drunk. Yeah, he's like a, he's he's a, he's a brewery inside himself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's yes. pretty wild. So this is the way of the future. In the future, people will get drunk from he wondered what He drink. thought something was wrong with it. Yeah, he thought he was like, sick or he's something. He's like always dizzy and stuff, but they realized it's really? always after he was he just ate drunk. He realized there was something right with him. Like, I home brewed so long, I don't even need to brew anymore. I am now a brewery myself. I am my own. Do you have a license for that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I've become what I want most in the world. <laughs> Is it kind of like the the curse of King Midas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just Everything drunk all the time. Every time he has bread, he yeah, it's not bad. 
So, so technically, he, he gets a free beer with every piece of toast, every, <laughs> every carbohydrate rich. I'll save you some money. So I'm drinking um, al, al, um, greens and vegetables and al spirulina greens? and algae and, yeah, nice, good nice, stuff. Nice. Getting all alkaline. Yeah, getting all alkaline. Awesome. Well, you're glowing. Huh? You're glowing. glowing. Oh. So <laughs> it's working out well. It's that, yeah, uranium I'm... <laughs> oh yeah, Fukushima, the that's right. number one. They said all the, right. the fuel's yeah. gone. Yeah, that's all melted. Really? And created, created what? Vessel. Wow. You didn't hear about oh, that? No. Yeah, they, I haven't heard shit about Fukushima in months. Uh, you really I, have to look for Fukushima stuff. It doesn't just really show up. Do. Yeah. Uh, they confirmed that it, uh, all the fuel from the first reactor had melted through the vessel. Beautiful. They're like, oh, well, oh, we're God. done. <laughs> Well, China's in it now, so have a good one. China syndrome? Mother Nature will have to take care of this now. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to take care of this. She's going to take care of something already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> take out the fucking trash. Make that butter. You know, it's like the engineers are just sitting there, well, I suppose we grow some weed around it and hope for the best. Hey, that's probably the yeah, best yeah, we can make the, at this oh, point. Oh, that's what they did in Chernobyl. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, Chernobyl, Speaking there's all sorts of hemp right? growing around there, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I recently read too that it was leaked that Mars One is all bullshit. <laughs> For years, what? man. Mm, interesting. What's all bullshit? Mars, Mars One. one. That's, Wait, what? That's, that's, that's where they get two hundred people to go to Mars. God and, damn and it! Not <laughs> They're not gonna do it. You're like I signed up. Uh, I, know, I, 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 I was gonna get off this <laughs> run. <laughs> Dude, someone would go insane. Well, there goes our mutiny on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to read a book the whole time. I had it all planned out. I was going to get War and Peace and a couple other long ones, and that'll be it. Yeah. That'll take care of the trip there. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Oh, dear. Just sleep a lot. Yeah. <laughs> How uh, much booze can I bring? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, with, with, uh, with like, apparently, like, anything having to do with space, like, they, they, they divide it down into ounces. Do you get more you fucked up in space? That's my question. You probably do. Probably. Of course you do. You're 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 weightless. Something is just gonna happen. <laughs> like oh shit, I'm really trashed right now. Yeah. That sounds accurate. It's like man, beer bongs would be fun. I I think that's an important <laughs> experiment for people on the space station to conduct. Um. Is do they get drunk? So, drunken cool space. Experiment. Yeah. Just, I'm sure just, that they've done you know that. Awesome. Drunken space. Yeah. Sort of like a fear and loathing in space where you just launch like a whole, <laughs> something orbiting just full of yes. drugs. Yes. Just <laughs> like the whole, the whole array of drugs. You just get fucked up and try everything and see if any of them are different in space. <laughs> now, the, the subject that, is, that nobody has broached about the whole space thing and things to do in space, there was a married couple on, on the uh, International Space Station. I'm going to leave it at that. There was a married couple on the International Space Station. Yeah. So well, have you I watched heard the allowed... sex in space? Yeah, they've had sex in space. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, like, I didn't, like, I didn't know there's the show. There's all different ways. What, what do you mean document? Like a yeah, it's like National <laughs> Geographic. There's like a thing of water. It's what like helps oh, that's you cool. figure yeah, it that's out. Let's go back to that. Is this all one of those porn streams? Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> going to say. <laughs> it. Is this something that's on like you porn or something like that or? It's a legit show. It's probably on Netflix. Okay. Like, all right, all right, all right. I'm totally gonna look for that one. It was That's really good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, just, and I'm still <laughs> stuck on there. There was a news radio episode from like 15 years ago where they talk about it. That was funny. Anybody remember that show? News radio it was fucking hilarious. No. God damn it. Sounds familiar. <laughs> news radio, really? That was you know a great show. Phil Hartman. He uh, it was uh, yeah. Is that that show you used to oh, get Phil up at Hart like six in the morning to watch? No, that was Fraggle Rock. Uh, Fraggle Rock? Yeah, Fraggle Rock. I remember Fraggle Rock. That show is fucking No, 6 a.m. Fraggle Rock was 4.30. And that was fucking, that was Crack O'Dawn. That's why I went to the library and rented it. (laughs) (laughs) So the topic tonight. The topic tonight is... So how do we get to the topic from that? Yeah, super serious. Apparently we're talking about religion tonight is the idea. Super serious, right? Yeah, this one, this one we've uh, kind of put off for a little while. Uh It's kind of a heavy subject. I think we should start, uh, as Riley suggested, with defining what we mean by religion. Okay. What is religion? Um, exactly. Excuse me. Who wants to take a stab at the beast? Uh, I will. So okay. Um, religion is an organized set of either... Um, uh, rituals... Or a group of people who are the 
practitioners of the rituals. Mm -hmm. So to me, I don't look as the belief of any god or gods as a religion, but religion is the organization of these are certain things you have to do to talk to God. Pledge of allegiance. Yeah, Pledge of Allegiance. There's a good, damn good example. Thank you, John. <laughs> you know, like, there are certain statism. things. Statism. Yeah, state, yeah statism is more or less you, a religion. I, you believe I, in a deity. I, I think somewhere out there, Lark, Larkin Rose did a, mm -hmm. a little video about that that explains that really well. That, jackalope. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was a jackalope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that's why I look at religion as, is that like, you have to perform certain rituals or you have to have certain other people that perform the rituals. And you think of things like the Catholic Church, here come the bad comments on the video down below. <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, they, it's looked at in the, in, 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 the, in the Catholic sort of faith is that you have to talk to the priest who will then talk to God for you. See, I didn't learn that. Where did you... No, I, it's in the... Yeah. But I'm, I grew up Catholic, and Straight I didn't... Same, yeah. I, didn't I mean, that. you go to them for t confession, and but most of the time you're like... Well, yeah, because you're, you're, you're confessing to the priest, yeah. who the priest is then taking your sin. There is more of a barrier. Like, I guess Christianity, maybe. Christianity, the Christianity doesn't have it. Well, yeah. yeah. The, 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 yeah, as and you can look in the Vatican churches like legal whatever Catechism. mumbo jumbo, and the the Pope is God's regent on earth. So think about that. Like that's that's literally what it says is that that's the Pope's purpose is that he is God's voice on earth. So I guess I always thought that was BS, and so I never I maybe I just who, BS. Oh, BS. BS. Bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know bullshit. if you said us or... Oh, not know what you said. BS, BS. yeah. Okay. I just didn't think that was... I don't know. Yeah, and I, I think people think that... Catholics pay more attention to the Pope than they actually yeah. do. Yeah, right. I think some do, but I, I just, some do, but yeah. not a lot. No. No. We never did. No. I'm not the biggest fan of Bill Maher anymore, but does anybody remember the movie Religious? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I so. Not watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was pretty good. And they, I know, saw they the movie about, and read the book. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 you talked about some good stuff in there. It's too bad that like. Bill Maher's just like an apologist for the Israeli state now. But anyways. Um, <laughs> It should was apologize what, for the Israeli state. Yeah, well, yeah, everybody should apologize for it, but he, you know, supports them. But um, he, uh, one of the scenes that was cut out in there, they put the first half of the scene in the movie, but they cut out the second half, which is too bad, because the second half I thought was really hilarious, is that, you know, he's talking to Catholic priests about, um, about the Pope and the church and all that, in St. Peter's Basilica, like, you know, in the square out there. And, you know, he's just saying, asking him sort of stuff about, like, you know, what do you think about, like, what Peter and Paul said and all this sort of stuff. But the scene that they cut out, which I guess was just for whatever, like, tiny reasons, you know, he goes, like, well, I mean, do you really believe everything that's in the Bible? And both of these priests were, like, one of them's from New Jersey and the other one's from, like, New York or something. You know, not New York City, but New York State or something. And they both laugh and they go, no. No, we don't. Wow, really? No, you know, we don't believe in that. And he goes, well, why do you do this? He goes, well, because I think it helps people. So, you know, like, that's... Is that a, a bad wow. reason? Well, I, I think that's you know. kind of where religion came from in the yeah. beginning, right? It was, was humans didn't understand something that was going on. Yeah. So, like, the theory of God of the gaps. I've, yeah, exactly. I've, yeah. It's yeah, been yeah. used. Um, anything that humans could not explain, they would come up with. So it's sort of a defense mechanism mm -hmm. uh, to protect themselves from the fear of unknowing. The fear of death is the one that I believe really inspired the whole belief in an afterlife. Uh, the, if you fear death, then it, that brings on a lot of anxiety. Humans know they're going to die. When humans yeah. figured that out, they needed something to help protect them from that. Psychologically. Knowledge. Yeah, it, 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 it caused anxiety. So they came up with something that is forever, and it, it rewards the good and punishes the bad. But it... it, it it, it's detrimental because then you aren't realizing, well, all this, the only action is now, and you, you need to act as though you're never going to, you, you're not going to get a chance to fix it after you're dead. You mm -hmm. can only fix things now. You can only act now. There is no afterlife and all that. So I, I think it is really a, a uh, And I think to a certain extent, the, the judgment a lot of times that exists in organized religion which is why I think you actually defined as organized religion. Yeah, that's right. I, I was think going I for, think yeah. religion is a broader subject, but let me just point on to this real quick. Uh, they they bring in the judgment to try and um, 
control your actions on Earth because I mean let, let's be real if you thought you could live forever, <laughs> yeah. you had you had forever to fix any anything. But I do. That you. <laughs> okay, but That's, I'm not religious. But what? Well, what if that, there is no judgment? Then does it matter what we do now at all? Of course, of course it does. It does. Yeah. Why? I'm saying I'm saying the judgment. But why? It it matters to you. But if I just die and there's nothing at the end of the day, like, does that really matter? Well, I mean, it. The, the, all it the matters ideas to you, I, but you you're subjective. But so it doesn't, people could kill people, and it could be. It doesn't okay just. It doesn't. It doesn't just end at you, though. It, those ideas are still passed along. Everything that you've done, your actions, all of that, you can still live on. Um, I mean, through genetics, through children, or you can do it through ideas. You can pass along ideas to people, um, and not they don't even have to be verbal or written down. It can just be a kind action that somebody else. Does, does does the like same you. and reciprocates, yeah. and that idea is spread from human. That's how we got how, where we are now. Yeah, I mean, I agree that. Um... That's just the drone. If anybody yeah. can hear that yeah, on the mic, pay, yeah. Pay no attention to that. <laughs> pay no attention to the drone no, flying I mean, over the podcast. Like a, wow, that's a that's a fighter. 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 <laughs> but I, I think most people who are anti-religion think that the world would be a better place without religion, right? Uh, I mean, again, I guess that, 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 that would go to exactly how we're defining religion. Which, I mean, we, with my definition, it's just anything that has to do with, like, organization and, and rituals and stuff. I think, but, I think truth is important, so what the truth is, is what's best. Yeah. Um, and... So so let me let me answer the question what is religion? I think religion is a world view uh perhaps dogmatic that that is it's crazy. What? Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of coyotes. coyotes. It's the coyotes barking, and then the dogs are like, hey, coyotes, we know you're up to something oh crazy. You step back. Yeah. That sounds like a hundred coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> if they pounce on the podcast right now, let, let, let it be known that this is our last episode. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we'll find that million views. <laughs> For the 40 people who normally watch, this one is going to get a couple million. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so, so religion is a, is a worldview based primarily on a supernatural metaphysics. Okay. okay. Wait. Something that can metaphysics. Happen. I mean, isn't metaphysics kind of by definition like supernatural? You could have natural naturalism. I uh, mean, well, I mean, I just I've never understood the concept of uh, super. What you call it? Supernatural. Su- supernaturalism, and how it would differentiate in in truth from naturalism. Because I mean, we have the natural world that we all experience, and then there's a supernatural world that's above it. But is it not natural? Is it I mean, it's not natural to us in our, in our terms, but in terms of its own reality, it's it's just as natural as anything else. I mean, it's if it exists. If it exists, right? But I mean, metaphysics is that which is above the physical, which is what our natural world is. So, I mean, wouldn't that necessarily kind of imply a supernaturalism? Are Are you maybe so saying that maybe I mean that this is I. I inferred something from what you said, but are you maybe saying that it's called supernatural simply because we don't understand all the mechanics of it? Right. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I just want to make sure we understand. I just never, never okay. understood people being like getting down on. I've just never understood supernaturalism because people. Yeah. Me neither. That's why I'm an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, beef in it as in like it, it's, it's by necessity cannot be. Well, I think. I think it's just by like he said like a- anything anything what we understand anything physical. that can affect us is by definition natural. So anything beyond that is irrelevant. That's my position. Even nothing affects us though. The, but the what majority of the thing universe is, natural? is nothing. Yeah. Empty space. Well, empty space and even 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 nothing can affect us. The fact that. Something is not. What is nothing? So, how can nothing the, affect something? 
Get what vacuum maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but vacuum. I mean, I just don't think there's empty anything space. Can we see who believes thing. in God? I believe in God. Uh, um, Are we gonna define God? I believe. Yeah, you have to I define God, God before I can answer that question. Okay. okay so has first. everyone said their piece about what religion is? Because then I want to give my two cents. Um. I have to get this in here only because I started reading it today, and it's just way too punctual not to mention. So I just started reading Asia Reason today by Thomas Paine. Oh, the good. whole thing's about religion. Yeah. And so I, you know, uh, Steve was like, hey, what are we doing for the show? You want to do religion? And it was just really perfect. And I'm like, well, I just so happened to be starting reading Asia Reason today. So I have to throw in a quote in there that is just, I can't let go, uh, that I really liked. Uh, and I, I tend to agree with, I heard it somewhere at one point or another, but uh, he, you know, uh, Thomas Paine puts in there, he says, my own mind is my own church. And I just, like, you know, it's just a nice little sentence in there. I'm looking at it, and I read it a couple of times, like, I liked that. You know, it, it's, it's, it's what you believe, how, what, you know, what is the exact existence of the universe is in your own head. And so that's where I have my beef with organized religion, where they're like, yeah. "Oh, you have to do certain things. Like you have to get, you have everyone. to get your, you have to yeah. get your holy yeah. water and splash it on things for this to be sanctified." Well, well, wait a minute, you know, like no, you know, everybody has their own perception of the universe. So how is it that I have to perform these rituals? Why do I have to do that? Oh well, because the Pope says so. What? Well, then that, like you know, that, would be, man. Yeah. that would be the difference between spiritualism and religion. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, religion, to, to me, right? or, to me like, so, so what's the difference between spiritualism and religion? Um, that you don't have it. It's not organized. It's you, Your experience of the divine is your own. And it's your path to it is your own. It's not the same as anybody. It's You're not following anybody's guides. It's just your your life is is your path to it. Well, and I think that is religion, but there's a difference between organized religion and religion. Hmm. Organized, re I think we're all against organized re religion, really. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's uh, to to mostly the hierarchy, to, right? I think that's the thing that we've touched on many right. times on the podcast. Yeah, hierarchy, yeah. right. Hierarchy. Yeah. I think there's truth yeah. in some of it, yeah. and there's just... A bullshit, <laughs> you know, in some of it. I fills in the rest. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. I mean, like, if, for example, you know... Um, well, this truth in the lies of government too though yeah which i would consider a religion too so i, mean, I guess even, that's you, it. <laughs> even if you look at the like the catholic church like the pope um they've recently talked about uh, the possibility of aliens all sorts of things that are they're trying to really keep up with the time right. mm -hmm. so yeah. to speak as they've done all along yeah, yeah so 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 as yeah. the knowledge of science and what is actually happening goes they change their view religion yeah. changes yeah. their story basically right. They'll, that's not religion though. it's that's the pope yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is one of those, the more you know, buh, 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 moments. In 1996, the Catholic Church acknowledged that the world was round. 1996. No, are you serious? The, the Pope put out a proclamation, oh, the funny. world is round. Oh, oh okay. 1996. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, that is, that's appreciated. All right. I'm glad you know that you have satellites and telescopes and stuff, and the Greeks figured that out, for fuck's sake. What about scientism? Scientology? No, no, no scientology. Oh, it's like What's Scientology, scientism? that's a whole episode. <laughs> scientism, What's scientism? Uh, uh, pure reason or objectivism in that sense. Uh, atheism also resembling religion in some sense. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a dogmatic yeah. worldview. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Closed off. Yeah. yeah. Because so all that, we could say is what we think happens. None of us really right. know. Yeah. Yeah. You know? See, my view, I, I think Neil Tyson talks about it. Fuck you Neil can't. Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that off my chest. Okay. Riley did I'm not like Neil Tyson. Fucking Neil Tyson, dude. Fucking corporate sellout. <laughs> I do not like his views at all about government and all that. Well, that yeah, I mean, but he's one of those guys that's probably in line to be like head of FDA or some bullshit next time around. Well, I, 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 like, he, he really advocates like NASA funding and NASA, and I'm, I could give a shit less about that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't even fuck. Uh, anyway. Uh, but I, I think the, the point I'm trying to get across is you, you, c you should never really discount something if you don't... You can never know for, for certain that something is not true. You can't know that. It's Unless impossible. Unless you've yes. experienced this it. Is, this is true. You can never, even if you've experienced it, right? you can't say that yeah, your, uh, your senses are 100% accurate. So, so oh, yeah. mine are. 
While, while, <laughs> while I won't Only Christie's. The rest of the world, not I'm so much. I'm God. See, when you ask me, do you time. believe in God? While I don't I, believe in God. I am God. I, I only believe so in you things that you don't believe in yourself. I, yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, I believe in things that I have evidence for. Um, but I will. I will always I have, give. Okay, okay. I will always hey, give the option. Hey, just let him finish. But I will always give the option that it could be inaccurate, and I will change my opinion if I get evidence that it is inaccurate. That's a good position to hold. No, yeah, you say, I like what Matt said. I'm like wanting sense. to get on the God issue of like intelligent design. Do we? Yeah, well, we can maybe, well, we have, like, no time left, yeah. but, well, uh, a little bit of time. So, we got time. This is going to be a multi-episode. Yeah, yeah. 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 everyone get do two cents in before I put mine in? Go ahead, yes. Riley. Go okay. for it. So, <laughs> I, I wrote a little something. I'll probably do better if I just read it off, because I, I won't feel like I'm forgetting certain aspects of it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, as I see it, tradi uh, religion traditionally means, this is, like, the real, if you look at the words, the word, rather. Uh, it means binding the individual to the divine, or back to the divine, depending on one's theology. The earliest meaning of the word um, that we've come to know as religion originally meant the careful observation of what is for the purpose of proper re properly relating to the divine. Now, from here, we come across the next necessary word that we have to wrestle with to a point of definition and understanding. That word is God. How do we understand this word? What do we take it to mean to represent? This is critically important for our discussion of religion because how we understand God will by and large determine our understanding of and how we relate to this thing called religion. If, for example, we think of God as a God of the gaps type of, uh, kind of a thing, meaning that all God is is a fill in the blank for our lack of truly understanding something, then our opinion of religion will basically be that religion is a game stupid people play in order to feel as though they have an understanding when uh, of the way things are when in fact they're ignorant people deceiving themselves. God in this kind of understanding merely becomes a convenient make-believe placeholder replacing ignorance with a fairy tale. If on the other hand, as in the case of the philosopher Spinoza and others, th our definition of God is that which is, then our conception of religion will be quite different indeed. When uh, then we see given the traditional definition religion as that which binds the individual to that which is, that is to say reality, or binds the individual back to reality, if there was a fall from reality in your re theology. <clears throat> if we uh, take into consideration the original understanding of the root meaning of religion, then religion would mean, uh, come to mean the meaningful observation of that which is for the purpose of proper, properly relating to that which is. Here we see a great difference in our understanding of what religion is solely in light of how we understand or define God. So, um, Almost done. In the latter examples, religion essentially becomes a means of conscious mind... F uh, in the latter examples, yeah, uh, religion essentially becomes a means of conscious mindful awareness as the best approach to life in its totality. Whereas in the former, we see a rather silly game unintelligent people play, albeit potentially useful at early stage of human development but which has nevertheless at ground its usefulness. Last little bit. On the one hand, we have a vision of life of the universe that is devoid of any divine presence, reality, or truth, whereas on the other, we have a vision of life where the individual is constantly navigating in a sea of divine life, energy, and being. In short, how we understand God will determine how we think and relate or don't relate to the divine, which will further determine our approach or lack of approach to religion. So, I think, considering that, it really just comes down to what you think about God. And, um, if, like, again, if your idea of God is, oh, you know, we only come up with a fill-in-the-blank type of understanding of God, where, oh, we don't understand something, so God did it, then, yeah, you're going to have a pretty pathetic relationship with that um, and experience there from but um, if, on the other hand, we experience, we th consider God to be that which is, then we're always kind of so. in tune with what is. And, um, and we are. Well, so do, well, that do, would do, say do you we think, are, that, do you think is. that is the traditional... Uh, what God is, uh, what that God which is. is. But the, or do you think that is an evolving... Uh, well, evolving notions, notions, ideas, well, ideas of God which evolve. I, think is I, I, I have a quick question yeah. real quick. I don't, I, so I don't mean to interrupt, but, time, right. so, I but uh, so if there were... Ma uh, in 
If there was a church. Robotic. Right, right. If there was a church. Ro robotic uh, androids. Right. Okay. That would service people sexually. Yeah. Would that okay. also be God? Let's roll with it, yeah. Uh, it would be a part, be part of God. Of it wouldn't be God with okay. the uppercase G. It'd be, but it'd be man trying to play God. To his it'd own. be right. man yeah. being man. And that's Hold on. So are we talking about robot uh, sex again? Hey, we're out of time, yeah, guys. Okay. Yeah, uh, we can't yeah. go on anymore. Um, well, that's tragic. But well, we, uh, we'll, we'll pick this up again. Yeah, this is probably going to be part two. Yeah, so. I feel like we didn't get to anything. We got to things. <laughs> 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 we talked for a bit at the beginning. Uh, yeah, something else. So, we will get uh, back to this. So, Stay tuned. So religion and robot sex next week. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.